We all aspire to the lifestyles of the glitterati, with opulent abodes topping our wish lists. From in-home gyms and spas to water parks and even the occasional windmill, celebrity homes are a blend of luxury, extravagance, and sometimes a touch of eccentricity. Dive in as we showcase nine of the most jaw-dropping celebrity residences. Number 9. John Travolta's Airport You know how it can sometimes be annoying to have to drive to the airport to catch a flight? Well, John Travolta is found to work around. Simply build two runways on your property. The legendary actor is a certified private pilot and owns five aircraft, including a Boeing 707, so it actually makes sense that his Florida home would double as an airport. Well, it makes celebrity sense. Travolta wanted to be able to step out of his front door, get on his plane, and fly anywhere he wanted for dinner, because sometimes Uber just doesn't cut the mustard. The 12 million house was built in 2003 and took a total of six years to finish, which meant that while their home took shape, John and his wife Kelly were practically living on a street in the guest quarters. The interior of their house is much more luxurious than your average departure lounge, and the decor features plenty of nods to the Saturday Night Fever stars, love of film and aviation. The property, which is based in a private aviation center, also has a flight control deck and a bed and breakfast for pilots and guests to rest in. I have no idea how he deals with passport control. Number 8. Kim and Kenny's Hidden Hills Home Kimmy liked to flaunt their lavish lifestyles and their $20 million mansion in Hidden Hills. California is as lavish as you'd expect purchased in 2014. The couple wasn't totally happy with their new place, so they spent an incredible three years renovating it. They even bought their neighbor's property, so they had extra space for all the additions they wanted to make. It goes without saying that the five-acre property has all the necessities you'd expect, including a movie, theater, gym, and basketball court. Kenny also has a recording studio to work from, and Kim has a full-sized luxury spa complete with a facial and massage room, presumably for when the stresses of life get on top of her. Their kids aren't slumming it either, as North, Saint, and Chicago have a two-story playroom because one story simply wouldn't be enough room for their spoil. Well taken care of children. The revamped mega house is now said to be worth an incredible $43 million, so you better keep buying Kenny albums so they can pay their mortgage. Number 7. The Playboy Mansion Hugh Hefner's lavish playground left teenage boys all around the world drooling when it featured on MTV Cribs in 2002. And that wasn't just because of the throng of beautiful women hanging out there. The 20,000-square-foot house in California occupies six acres of land and has a whopping 26 rooms. The living room has a large screen projector for cozy movie nights, and the kitchen is commercial-grade and has a full staff, which costs $17,000 per week. There's a games room and a gym complete with sunbeds to keep all his bunnies golden, and there's also a zoo. Hugh's bedroom had a remote-operated system that controlled everything, including the bed before Hugh's death in 2017. He had 80 staff working for him at the house. He also had 7-Eleven girlfriends, which is definitely a unique feature. The most infamous part of Heft's mansion is no doubt the grotto, where according to Holly, and one of the Playboy Bunny's own words. What happens in the grotto stays in the grotto. The property sold for $100 million in 2016, which was apparently half of Hugh's original asking price. Hopefully, the new owner makes the most of the grotto just as legendary Hef did. Number 6. Selene Dion's Water Park From airport to water park, the home that Selene and her late husband, Remy, built is a water lover's dream. The house was built in 2010 on Jupiter Island, Florida, and has the type of water features that you usually only see at a public water park. The pool is massive and there are bridges, slides and water gun stations. As far as the, I can see the property also provides access to one of the longest private beaches in Florida, and there's a huge man-made river flowing through the center of the property, just in case anyone's worrying that there isn't enough water at Selene's house. 
Aside from all the fun water stuff, the beautiful main house has eight bedrooms and there are separate guest houses with eight extra bedrooms. There are tennis, basketball, and croquet courts, a simulated golf range, a games room, a pool house with separate kitchen, and a beach house with a massage room. I mean, it's more like a private resort than home. Celine's Florida home was on the market for four years and finally sold for $28 million. It was originally listed at 72 million. So bad luck viewers, you missed out on a real bargain there. Before I reveal the next example, you should subscribe. If you're enjoying the video, we upload amazing fact-filled videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated, or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number five, Robert Downey, Jr.'s Windmill. This home is more bonkers than baller, which suits this eccentric actor down to the ground moving away from his futuristic Ironman persona. Robert's 19th century windmill is as quaint as it gets. The whimsical structure is in the Hamptons and was originally built to be a playhouse rather than an actual house, and it certainly kept its funhouse feel. Just take a look at the 15-foot-tall grasshopper statue on the front lawn. Inside the 10 and a half million house, it's all about wild colors and fluffy furniture that makes you feel as though you've fallen down the rabbit hole. That's even some original Robert Downey Jr. art in the bathroom, and he has a great reason for its placement. Downey Jr. claims he didn't set out to do something wacky when he and his family chose to live in an actual windmill, but somehow, I just don't believe him. Number 4. Matt Damon's Brooklyn Pad When Matt Damon bought an apartment at the end of 2017, it made the news with good reason. It was the most expensive property ever sold in Brooklyn. The Brooklyn Heights penthouse had an asking price of $16.65 million. The most expensive property before that was a puny $15.5 million back in 2015. The building called the Standish was constructed in 193 and was once a hotel known for its understated luxury. Damon's penthouse is no different in the 6,000 square foot space both six bedrooms and a huge terrace. This isn't the first time the building has housed famous characters. It's also where Clark Kent lived in the Superman comics. Now I'm imagining Matt Damon strolling around his apartment and leggings in a cape with his red underpants over his pants. Just me. Oh, okay. Number three, Naomi Campbell's Eco House. A supermodel needs a super house and Naomi's eye of Horus house certainly fits the bill situated on Cleopatra Island in Turkey. The Egyptian-themed eco house is designed to be as environmentally friendly as possible from light and heat to water and food. Everything has been thought of from a sustainable angle in this modern structure. In fact, the house was a gift from her Russian billionaire boyfriend and the architect assigned to the project was given an unlimited budget to ensure complete energy efficiency from above. The house is designed to look like the Eye of ISTs, an ancient Egyptian symbol of protection, royal power, and good health. The glass dome has 25 bedrooms and five lounges, and there's also a beautiful indoor landscape terrace. So Naomi can enjoy nature without exposing her perfect skin to harmful sunlight. Well, that's probably the reason when she's not relaxing in this captivating house, she's in her other alluring house that's designed like a spaceship. Number 2. Nicolas Cage's Haunted House This next house is pretty weird, so it's no surprise that it once belonged to a particularly wild celebrity. Nicolas Cage's former residence is also known as the most haunted house in America. Yikes. The original owners of the New Orleans mansion were Matt and Delphine Lair, and her husband Louis. Madame Delphine was a monster and performed atrocious experiments on her slaves in the house. Her torture spree was only discovered by chance when the house caught fire and the gruesome scene was uncovered outraged by her atrocities. Mobs of people destroyed most of her residence, though it has since been rebuilt. The murders are so famous, in fact, that they inspired Kathy Bates' character in the third season of American Horror Story the French Quarter Mansion covers 10,000 square feet and has six bedrooms and seven bathrooms. The Troubled Academy award-winning actor bought it in 2007 for $3.45 million. 
but then lost his treasured home to foreclosure in 2009, and it went for $2.3 million. Cage won't ever be homeless, though, as he has multiple residences, including a $3 million deserted island in the Bahamas and a tomb, which is also in his beloved New Orleans. The nine-foot-tall gray pyramid is adorned with the Latin phrase omnia bluno, which means everything from one. Maybe that's where he'll keep his declaration of independence. Number 1. Richard Branson's Necker Island Retreat Technically, this one isn't a house, but an entire island. Billionaire entrepreneur Richard Branson owns the Virgin Empire, and he was only 28 when he bought this private uninhabited island in the British Virgin Islands. Although the asking price was $6 million, like any good businessman, Branson lowballed the seller and offered a hundred grand. A year later, the owner got desperate and accepted 180000 for it. Part of me thinks the fact that the archipelago had Virgin in its name must have sold the idea to it. He then spent $10 million revamping it into an ocean paradise, and it's thought that Branson has now spent a total of $80 million on renovations to the island. The main house, or the great house as it's known, has 10 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, a bar and an open-air bathtub, which Richard seems rather fond of. The private island spans 74 acres and is available to hire if you have a lot of spare cash lying around. Of course, it can accommodate 34 guests and 6 children in total, and if it's good enough for Mariah Carey, it's good enough for me. You might want to get saving, though island rent is $65,000 per day. The islands had a tough decade, and in 2011, the Great House burned down after being struck by lightning. While guests, including Kate Winslet, were staying in it, then just last year, Hurricane Irma destroyed the entire island, but Branson wasted no time and most of the damage was repaired just seven months later. Take a look at this bonus example. This Miami house where basketball player Dwayne Wayne and actress Gabby Union got married. The house was originally built by and for famed architect Charles Seeger. It's called Chateau Artisan and it's complete with a giant landlocked moat, gatehouse and formal gardens set on 14 acres. It has eight bedrooms and 10 bathrooms and it's all yours for a mere 12,800,000. ,000. Which house did you think was most incredible? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And as always, thanks for watching.